Hi, this is Shai from the Spider Holster. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about the spider plate. So first what we're going to do is we're going to actually take the wrench out. Uh, what you do is push on that end of the wrench and it pops right out. Right from inside where it sits in the plate. So you have your wrench right here. Then you're going to take the pin and attach it either to the right. If you're uh, carrying your camera on the right hand side, you'll attach it to this point. If you're carrying it um, on the left side, you'll be attaching it to, to that arm right here. So right now we're going to take the left arm and then you uh, basically thread it. Uh, take the wrench. It has a hole right in the center of it, just like so, and wrench it as hard as you can. So uh, one thing to uh, make sure uh, when you're actually uh, mounting the plate onto your camera is uh, there are these ridges here, what we call the grips. These should actually be right on top of the front end of your camera. So as you thread that in, just please make sure that those ridges actually touch the front and hug the front of your camera. And now you can just thread it right in it doesn't need to be super hard. It's just enough. A very good thing that the uh, spider plate is actually uh, doing in function is, of course, now you can shoot vertically. Um, so you can uh, choose to either uh, shoot like this horizontally or you can easily uh, shoot vertically now since the pin is out of the center of your camera. That's the first thing that it does. The second thing that it does is actually allows you for uh, two other holes so you can uh, connect your quick release plate. Uh, any quick release plate should work here, or most of them. Uh, specifically the RC2 um, uh, release plate, which is a very, very prominent kind of uh, uh, release system. So you should be able to mount this right onto the plate, just like that. And you should be able to still carry your spider on your belt with this quick release plate attached and be able to go from uh, carrying mode to shooting mode right on the tripod in a second. Uh, the plate actually lets your uh, camera uh, point down completely. And what it does, it actually uh, hits the camera and it's kind of like solar plexus where it's the, you know, the, the center of, of balance of, of, of the camera with the lens attached. So a couple of things that it does, of course the lens now is not pointing down, it's actually pointing away. So you can, uh, you can bend over and uh, the, hand, the lens will never hit the ground. And the second thing is just the way it carries, especially with the, uh, with the bulkier, uh, bigger cameras, uh, you can attach now a, tri uh, a flash to it and it would carry just the same. So the flash is pointing down, it's not pointing sideways, it is well balanced. Um, right now you got the best, the best position uh, possible um, to actually uh, carry a big apparatus, uh, you know, a camera, um, a, a flash, and a lens all together attached. Here we are with a, a shorter uh, body and a smaller body uh, uh, camera. Uh, that's the plate as it attaches to, uh, to the smaller bodies. It, there is no different and uh, difference and you actually can hang it exactly the same way depending especially if you're shooting with a flash you should probably hang it uh, just from uh, just from there um, just another note if you're carrying a small uh, body camera without a flash you're um, more than welcome to actually change the position of the pin so the arms are not functioning right now but you can put it um, on any other hole you have plenty of holes to kind of try and configure how this is going to work best for you. It doesn't necessarily have to stay the center and, and then um, you can still take the plate out if that doesn't work for you and attach it right to the quarter 20 inch right in the center of your camera. So uh, this is it for uh, the spider plate. Um, thanks for watching.